Hey y'all, it's Sunday. Um, I'm back with, uh, what is this, the 32nd one of these now, I believe? Something like that. Oi, can't believe I did over 30 of these. So we're down to 125 for virus, which is good. Yay, awesome, better. But we had three deaths, so, yeah, bummer. But uh, New York is doing well. We'll see if what happens when schools start, because they're going to start school in about uh, a week and a half, maybe two weeks, something like that. Uh, I know they just opened the gyms, too, so we'll see what happens with going on with the gyms. But, hey, we're doing well, so awesome. Um, book news, let's see. Uh, editor's supposed to send me Cleo and Petra's back, uh, hopefully this week, and I will go through uh, her edits. There shouldn't be that much for a 10,000-word short story because I self-edited it beforehand and gave it to the reader. She's just probably fixing my tenses and probably the the words that I forget because sometimes the brain works faster than the fingers. So, and um, I think I sent her Ellie, Ellie and Kitty's book and I think maybe it was the event. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was the event, so I will be uh, updating those two and raising the prices on those. And uh, so that'll be good. And then I'll have to send her my October, which is Crimson Rose, and maybe just one other book, because I, over, I overextended her uh, her maximum amount this time by by accident, because I didn't realize Kitty, Kitty's and Owie's book was uh, longer than I expected, so... I'll probably just give her two. Um, I'm working on uh, my werewolf story for Bassett's Daughters. It takes place uh, across the country from where I usually set my books. So it's in Montana. And they live in a little forest town in unknown Montana. I made that up. So hopefully nobody will be uh, <laughs> bitching and moaning that, that uh, there's no such town in Montana. Because I know there isn't. Hopefully. Maybe there is. Who knows? <laughs> And, um, and then I'm working on this, uh, literature RPG book that's coming together. I don't quite know where that's going, but I'm still sticking to about my 5,000 words a week, but I'm dividing them between these two books right now. So we'll see what happens. Um, they're, they're progressing and I have, um, an idea to wrap up Cleo's and Petra's book. I might, uh, I'm probably going to maybe do that. I might do that by the end of the year. We'll see. But if not, it'll be early next year. And then it'll be all six of those. So book things are going together. Um, gaming, I played um, Tell Me Why, which was the first episode. And the next one comes out uh, next week. And it's an interesting game. I like those. Uh, I like the company that makes those because they did um, Life is Strange. And whatever that other one was that I didn't finish playing because I didn't like those two characters, but that's okay. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Kingdoms of Alamar comes out uh, probably next week. So I'm really excited about that because I missed that game. It was, that was a fun game on uh, the uh, original Xbox or the 360. So they remastered it and, and that'll be cool. Um, I did play a little more of Pathfinder, but... I'm kind of frustrated with that. I, they, they need to uh, to fix the bugs in that game because the, the the memory leak is really annoying. Within like a half hour, the whole game slows down to nothing. So I'm probably not going to play that for much longer until they uh, fix those. So other than that, that's it for gaming. Um, finally, some new stuff is coming out. Um, hopefully, uh, since it's almost September, they're going to tell us how much the new Xbox is because... You only have till November. And um, Warcraft has been initial officially announced for December or for October um, 27th or something like that. But so I got about a month before uh, the new Warcraft expansion comes out. So cool. Um, I know last week I mentioned uh, I might talk about uh, some, uh, some writing stuff. So let's uh, I'm going to go into that. Um, I know a lot of people don't review like I do, so I tend to give every book I read a five star because I find something. As long as I enjoy the story, I, I don't care what the uh, the grammar 
and what have you is in it. So I know I have a book list on, I run it on Twitter and I put the pictures up on Pinterest, or Pinterest and I also put them up on my webpage every week, which I'm going to do again tonight. But um, I don't review on Amazon because Amazon tends to uh, frown on that. They have rules about authors reviewing authors. So I do review over on Goodreads though, but I know a lot of us don't don't even go to Goodreads because it's such a such a cesspool. So, but um, I, like I said, my feeling is as, as long as I enter, enjoy the story for a while, I give it a five star. I don't care because I know how hard it is to write a book. So, um, I guess that's it about for now. Um, next week I will have. Uh, Hopefully Cleo and Petra's book up for sale. So I'll probably talk about that. And on Monday I'll probably send her my October release, which is Crimson Rose and probably one other book. So they're, they're slowly getting together. Yay. And um, I did uh, post, I started using some Facebook ads. And they seem to be working pretty well. So I'm kind of thrilled with this. Um, I don't get... Uh, sales or reads every day but it's better than I've had all week so I'm gonna probably keep these little ads up and run, running uh, I only did about two two dollars a day um, and they seem to be doing well so I'm happy um, I guess that's it for right now I had a lot to say here this came to be about seven minutes so I'm gonna cut this off and I will be back next week see ya